Hello everyone, it's um, Helen Ford and Father Chung from Jesuit Mission. We're back for our um, third in the series of spiritual exercises under the theme of a field hospital. And um, I know the team at Jesuit Mission are entering their fifth week um, working at home. And one of the things we've been asking each other is, What's sustaining you during this time? So, so far, the trip, what is sustaining you during this time? Well, I suppose it's my community life. That's uh, that we are friends in the Lord of my Jesuit brothers here. And uh, that is what's uh, community life and that's sustaining me at the moment. So uh, greetings, um, everyone, uh, all the friends and supporters of Jesuit Mission. Thank you for joining us again this week. And of course, as I just mentioned today, our theme is for prayer is carried by friends. And it's a great word, I think. In the gospel, we hear Jesus uh, uh, saying to his disciples, I no longer call you servants. Instead, I call you friends. And even uh, to Judas, after he betrayed Jesus, Jesus still calls him friends. So Jesus is a friend to all of us. And I think that's one of the most uh, intimate relationship or one of the most um, affectionate uh, uh, theme or uh, friendship that we could have with someone else to be friends. So today we would like to invite you to join us once again to pray uh, in this uh, first spiritual exercise uh, called Carried by Friends. So like always, I invite you to uh, make yourself ready, find a comfortable a space, somewhere you can relax and be at peace. And even if you like, you can close your eyes. So if you're ready, let's just uh, call to mind the presence of our God, Jesus, who is our friends. And we make an act of reverence in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Just play a short piece of music for you to relax and be at peace. Touch. I touch the heart of friendship. I imagine holding two cups, one full of water, one empty. Each cup is a friend. I pour water, life, from one cup into the other. When I pour it back again, the cups become a symbol of friendship. Each gives to the other. I repeat this as desired. I 
I remember a small story when someone was a friend to me in desperate times. I share it with my families and at home or with them and friends by phone or online, listening in turn to their stories, feeling touched by the spirit of friendship. I begin to understand how friendship can sustain life in the darkest places on the most frightening journeys. Desire. I desire to carry a friend. I will now read the prayer text from ancient spiritual traditions. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a bed. They were trying to bring him in and lay him before Jesus. But finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd. They went up on the roof and let him down with his bed through the tiles in the middle of the crowd in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven you. So that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. I say to you, stand up and take your bed <clears throat> and go to your home. Immediately he stood up before them, took what he had been lying on and went to his home, glorifying God. Amazement seized all of them, and they glorified God and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen strange things today. I now name all the people I want to carry to healing and help. I ask the spirit of friendship to help me be and carry a friend in critical need. When life-threatening illness strips ordinary life away, friendship is life-saving in many ways. It may be at distance, by phone, by internet, giving whatever is needed.
friendship. I breathe in the spirit of friendship. I imagine and feel the spirit of friendship unfurling in me, releasing the love and practical help that reaches out in friendship. I breathe it in deeply, wait, then breathe it out into those who need a friend to carry them, one way or another, to urgent healing. I repeat as desired, breathing, befriending, helping quickly. And I conclude in thanks, considering two questions. Firstly, if possible, how might I make contact and reconnect with the one who befriended me so well? Secondly, to whom and how do I pass on this exercise who urgently could carry a friend now? And to conclude, we once again make an act of reverence. And so may the Lord bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So thank you very much for joining us. I hope that through this prayer that you experience the friendship that Jesus uh, is for you and wants to be for you. And uh, we hope that you will join us again next week as we have a special guest um, joining us uh, to lead this prayer uh, with me uh, next week as well. So thank you, uh, thank you again. Please, please stay safe, and may God bless you and keep you uh, in with all your friends safe and happy and joyful. Thanks very much, Father Trung, and um, let's honour and celebrate our friends today, and also our family and our colleagues. Um, they are what, what is keeping us connected um, during this time. So have a great week and uh, do think about who you could send this exercise on to, someone that it might give hope to. So I look forward to seeing you next week um, again. Bye-bye. Bye now.